The residence of Pravesh Shukla, the accused in the Siddhi urination case, was raised on the order of the state government. The accused was arrested after a video went viral on Tuesday where he was seen urinating on a man. As the authorities arrived at the accused's house with a bulldozer, his family members said the video over which he was arrested was an old one which has been brought to the forefront as the elections are close. Praveen Shukla, who was seen urinating on a tribal man in an inebriated state, kept hopping from one place to another, trying to avoid arrest, was caught at 2 a.m. on Tuesday and placed under interrogation. A case has been registered against him under the National Security Act, SCST Act and other sections of the Indian Penal Code. रातमें गिरफ्तारी उसकी कर ली गई थी घटना अशोभनीय है निंदनीय है मानवता को सर्वसार करने वाली घटना है The administration demolished his house in Siddhi the family kept pleading Meanwhile the BJP MLA from Siddhi Kedar Shukla said it's a political fight लेकिन कई जगहों पर तो आप लोग बगैर जांच के चलवा देते हैं जब आरोपी दूसरे धर्म का हो बगैर जांच के बगैर जांच के कहीं नहीं चलता जहाँ जांच होती वहाँ अगर अतिक्रमण होगा तो जो बुलडोजर चलेगा अतिक्रमण नहीं होगा तो क्यों चलेगा the outrageous incident sparked political controversy in the poll bound state as the opposition congress attacked the ruling bjp in the matter ये घटना मध्य प्रदेश के करोड़ों आदिवासी भाई बहनों का अपमान है मैं शिवराज सरकार को चेतावनी देता हूँ कि आदिवासी समाज पर हो रहे the victim, 36-year-old Dasmat Rawat from Karondi, when brought in for questioning by the police, dismissed the viral video as fake. He also had prepared an affidavit stating that the video is fake and was created to frame Shukla in a false case. However, sources say that the affidavit was allegedly prepared under duress and has not yet been submitted to any authorities. Pravashali log hai, wo hamesha chote logo ko dabate. To ye so sabhi ki baat hai ki unko dabao banaya ja raha hoga kai tarah ke, chahe paise deke, chahe dada giri se. The shocking incident is a symptom of a wider problem of violence against tribal people in Madhya Pradesh. National Crime Records Bureau also validates the same. In Bhopal, with camera person Rizwan Khan, Anurag Dwari for NDTV. All right, so now two things have happened. One, this video has surfaced. Now, even if it is an old video, the point is injustice was done. This man, who is an aide of a BJP MLA, was spotted urinating on another man. I mean, this is unspeakable what has been done. Irrespective of when it was done, this is injustice. And when, once it was highlighted, it was brought to the fore, now obviously he's been arrested. But then, as an attempt to do damage control, has bulldozer action created another form of injustice? Because again, I mean, there is no justification. On paper, this will be called an anti-encroachment drive. But we all know there is a direct correlation as it is very, very evident. So you're trying to counter one injustice with another in form of injustice and one really wonders where is the law amid all of this. Arun, Anuma, Wing Commander Anuma Acharya of the Congress Party and Mahesh Verma of the Bharatiya Janata Party are now with us. Mahesh ji, I want to come to you first. What was done by Mr. Shukla, absolutely unspeakable, one cannot see what is happening and this is, I mean, the harshest of punishment under the sections of the law. But then, as a counterbalance, in order to manage public opinion and mood, you go ahead and demolish his house. So, are you trying to, in order to compensate for one act of injustice, creating another form of injustice? Mr. Varma. The first thing I would say is that the incident is the same as the incident and the incident is the same as the incident and the incident is the same as the incident. The first thing I would say is that it is a very difficult thing. It is a very difficult thing to make a very difficult thing and make a 
और फिर उसके ऊपर कोई और जान माल के नुकसान हो एक तो इससे बचना चाहिए दूसरी बात की अगर वो बीजेपी एम का एड नहीं कहा जाता उनका सहायक नहीं भी कहा जाता तब भी सरकार ने जो कार्रवाई की है मैं समझता हूँ अभी तक इस तरह की कोई भी घटना या वो झारखंड में घटे या छत्तीसगढ़ में घटे पहली बार एन लगा है और मुख्यमंत्री जी ने खुद इसमें जो है कड़ी से कड़ी कार्रवाई करने का जो है संकेत दिया पहले लेकिन जिस प्रकार से मैं देख रहा हूँ कि कमलनाथ जी जिस तरह से घटाने का काम वहाँ कर रहे हैं जिस तरह से इसको लेकर एक जहरीले वातावरण बनाने का काम कर रहे हैं एक तो उससे बचना चाहिए दूसरा आपने कहा कि बुलडोजर कार्रवाई जो है ये अनावश्यक रूप से जो है जो कुछ भी है अगर वो गैर कानूनी है अगर वो इनजस्टिस कहीं देख रहा है निश्चित रूप से उसमें जो कोई भी अधिकारी होगा जो भी उसमें जिस तरह से अगर कोई गलत चीज हुआ है तो उसके ऊपर जो है स्वाभाविक रूप से उसमें एक्शन भी लिया जाएगा और मुझे लगता है कि इसमें जितना हम मैं समझता हूँ कि तो बुलडोजर की जो एक बात इस देश में जिस तरह से प्रचारित की जाती है कही जाती है और फिर कहा जाता है कि बुलडोजर कार्रवाई जो है गैर कानूनी है तो बुलडोजर कार्रवाई जो है कई मायनों में सही भी प्रतीत हुआ और सुप्रीम कोर्ट तक ने बुलडोजर कार्रवाई की कहीं जब लोग जाकर वहां इसके बारे में कहते रहे सुनते रहे तो सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने भी फटकार लगाई कि आप कानून जो बुलडोजर कानून का है उसके बारे में आप मनगढ़ बात और इस तरह की बातों से ओके कमांडर अनुमा आचार्य uh how do you view these developments i mean uh, one is as we are saying an unspeakable uh, very very hard to see act where the uh, law must take its course but then as a retaliation in order to show the strong arm of the law is in force and in an election year nobody should malign court on court malign the ruling party thus you see a very strong strong action sanket uh, during the day a lot of development took place uh, we came to know that this is one year old video and the re report was not registered now which makes me think whether it is an scripted event of bjp in the election year that this should be revealed kind in in a stage managed manner and then sub uh, some bulldozer action they should do and stir sentiments and uh, score some brownie no, points no that's a that's a that's action. a brand new allegation i have not heard of this uh, in the past no you i have heard in the last debate are you accusing, when I was are you accusing the bharatiya janata party of having released this video and thus at the back of public outrage to show that no, the I'm government is also that. ever please, powerful please. to take action please listen in i am not saying that i have been told in the previous debate in another reputed channel that this is one year old action and my point here is when this is now this comes into light and a bulldozer action takes place so i find this is quite stage managed to think because bjp is losing faith among people in madhya pradesh now we have a well established law procedure judiciary system when we have that why this bulldozer action has to take place the whatever that guy has done it is absolutely condemnable and i think he should be strictly punished for that but one year old video emerging now and people are doing bulldozer action and trying to stir some sentiments and trying to score some brownie points such as when prime minister says that we are the only protectors of tribal rights and then he quotes the president of india so perhaps to make that in a manner make up that this has been done because i don't know why this has happened one year old video now being viral what do you think out of it what do you think why it has happened let me ask this question of mr mahesh verma mr verma one year later now a video surfaces of uh, an act which was allegedly uh, a year ago and then action follows sankit ji ye is tarah ki baaton ko jo hai sirf rajnitik karanon se main fit kahunga ki rajnitik karanon se aap kisi bhi action ko is tarah se react karenge is tarah se apni baat ko rakhenge to aapki mana matlab aapki maniye samvedna kahan chali aap jo ghatna ghati hai us ghatna ke upar bulldozer ek saal purana humne le aake dikha ke ek sympathy hum hasil kar rahe hain इतनी घटिया बात इतनी घटिया सोच इस तरह की चीजों को लाकर और फिर राजनीति करना और इसको 
वो भी इस तरह की घटना पे जहां मानवता शर्मसार हुई हो कम से कम इतना तो कम से कम मानवीय संवेदना जो है हमारे काम की क्या मतलब बनता है एक आदमी गलत काम करता है मानवता को शर्मसार करने वाली बात कर रहा है उसके प्रति जो है अगर इस तरह की कोई सोच और इस तरह की वीडियो को लेकर इस तरह के कमेंट पास होंगे तो क्या मतलब बनता है ऐसी राजनीति को आप क्या कहेंगे संकेत Let's 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 look at the NCRB data for Madhya Pradesh. The Dalit atrocities. Every day, around twenty Dalit atrocities cases are registered in Madhya Pradesh. There are two lakh sixty four six ninety eight cases. They were pending trial in twenty twenty one, and only ten thousand two hundred and twenty three were disposed of. That means only three point eight percent of total cases. Now I'll tell you about couple of cases which have drawn the entire nation's attention. One was in July twenty twenty one, wherein the uh, five members of a family, including three uh, teen. teenagers were buried in the ground by one upper caste guy and then the lady the the one of the survivors she has gone and wanted to meet the governor and governor refused to meet her she has come with a nyay yatra walking 200 kilometers from nemavar to bhopal that was one case another case in which guna there were four cases wherein they are related to cremation they are related to uh, wedding processions they are related to so many uh, crop uh, encroachment and things like that so dalits have been beaten to death just over a matchbox also that story is by ndtv in may 2022 so there are cases where wherein the state government is absolutely oblivious to the uh, interests and uh, uh, security of the dalits and here this another case emerges which is in line with whatever is happening in this unruly state by the bjp government for year after no, year no mahesh verma my my only limited point over here is a uh, extremely crazy act by a person uh, who was perhaps delusional about his sense of power he was inebriated he urinated on a man you take action there are more than enough strong provisions in the law to take action against him but instead of the law doing its job we have a message being sent out in the public by bulldozing his house that's the point that i'm trying to make that are we are we ek bar aur sawal no no are we answering one act of injustice with another act where is the rule of law then ek bar fir se sawal dohra dijiye main beech mein sun le main apna sawal chhota sa dohra deta hu एक 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 कार्रवाई जहां पर हमने देखा कि एक आदमी ने गैर कानूनी काम किया उस पर कानून की धाराएं लग सकती थी और कार्रवाई हो सकती थी कड़ी से कड़ी कार्रवाई हो सकती थी बट यू डिसाइडेड डिसाइडेड दैट वन एक्ट ऑफ इनजस्टिस शुड बी पनिश्ड विद अनदर एक्ट ऑफ इनजस्टिस तो फिर वेर इज द रूल ऑफ लॉ रूल ऑफ लॉ की बात अगर आप कर रहे हैं तो सबसे पहले तो उस चीज को हमें देखना होगा जो इंसानियत को कहीं शर्म किया है क्या उसमें एन नहीं लगा क्या उसका अरेस्टिंग नहीं हुई और मात्र ये कह देने के मात्र से कि ये जो है किसी बीजेपी एमएलए का जो है उनका पीए था उनका रिप्रेजेंटेटिव था और इस तरह का एक माहौल एक वातावरण ऐसा बना पॉइंट सो आई यू रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू a political so, commentary that he was ले 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 a close ले ले aide of a bjp mla aur is wajah se compensate karne ke liye aapne ye kiya compensate karne ki baat sawal ye hai ki jis tarah ki baatein jis tarah ka ek vatavaran taiyar kiya gaya us vatavaran mein ab ye jo par ya to aap jhutla dijiye either you say that he had nothing to do with the bjp mla sir meri baat complete ho jaye main aapke sare sawalon ko proper respond kar main ye keh raha hu ki is vatavaran mein yahi cheez kaha jayega ki उसे आदमी का घर तोड़ दिया गया उसके साथ ये जस्टिस करने का कोई तरीका नहीं है सवाल यह है कि जो घर तोड़े गए हैं मैंने शुरुआत में ही कहा कि क्या वो गैर कानूनी है क्या कोई बता सकता है कि वो गैर कानूनी काम हुआ है अगर हुआ है तो उसकी सजा भी तय है उसकी भी सजा होगी but in kagzi karwai in in uh, 
all the documentation, this is treated as an anti-encroachment drive. I'm sure in this case too, the story will be no different.